Well, we've grown out, we've nitty bong, everybody. I am Engineer Hoist, and welcome to our weekly Transformers Earth Wars news stream. Well, we talk about all sorts of Transformers stuff here, but it started off as Transformers Earth Wars, and that's what we always talk about. We're going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about this weekend's event, but, but first, let's talk, say hi to everybody who's in the chat. We've got Chris Taylor here, Sharksies, as usual, Big D, Grand Galvatron, Woody, and let's scroll back a little ways. I saw a few other people chatting. Uh, Dragonborn, Destroyer Fire Rage. And we got people showing up. And so just welcome everybody. Had a blast at TFCon this past weekend. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet a few of you guys out there. Uh, the hat definitely worked. And I had an assignment I had to meet and get pictures with a few people. And I did. We'll be taking a look at that a little bit. So... Yeah, we're going to talk about Transformers Earth Wars weekend event, plus a few other things that uh, I saw you guys chatting about. I've got a few crystals to crack, and then we'll get to a little taste of the TFCon experience. We're not going to do the whole thing. That deserves a whole nother video, because if I go through the whole, my whole haul, we'll be here for like four hours. Uh, maybe not quite that long, but I got way too many things. But I do kind of love all of them. How much money did I spend? way too much kind of just like the game way too much money let's just say i would be a tfcon vip if they had the same kind of rules as transformers earth wars <laughs> so i did get all of the exclusives and there was a surprise exclusive there uh which we'll be touching on there that uh, dirty spot wait is good good to see you man i think i saw grand galvatron saying that uh, the thumbnail actually reminded him of a uh, previous image and i will say to you that was completely unintentional i just look being halloween i look for the spookiest bots uh the spider lady the bat guy and the skull face guy uh really said kind of halloween to me there so okay now without further ado how about we get to the transformers earth wars news get that out of the way and then get to some some other fun stuff so this weekend's event is trick and treat not trick or treat trick and treat uh so yeah uh didn't mean anything by that that was just kind of a vocal sigh i guess or whatever exhale yeah, whatever okay so happy halloween a day early there will be some spooky content this weekend they say take part in this weekend's event to win up to 50,000 spark, 2,000 premium shards, 1,500 three-star shards, 700 four-star shards, or up to 10 trick and treat crystals. Plus, you could also go that final mile and get up to 15 more trick and treat crystals. Plus, if you got the newsletter or you get the link from somewhere else, I did not have time to get it in the description of this video, but I will put it there afterwards. You can click that link and get five trick and treat crystals right as soon as you click that link so we'll be opening up a few excuse me we'll be opening up a few of those uh shortly this is an individual event it starts at the usual friday start time ends at the usual monday start time there are no prestiges it's just one big prize board or totalizer as they call it and there's triple xp how to participate you just got to be headquarters level four you don't even have to be an alliance to participate in this event because it's an individual and it's your success or failure is completely up to you uh, and as usual you tap that little yellow event button hit the battle zone win the battle get get the points collect your prizes uh, battle zones are the standard battle zones which is a little bit unusual that uh, usually usually the individual events have been the flat battle zones for the prime cores this one is not that it's just a standard uh battle zone so it just happens to be individual after a long grueling leaderboard for those gi joe bots last weekend which i did not participate in nearly at all because i was busy with other stuff <laughs> uh, i did get a few battles in though because you know it, it I needed a little uh, downtime, so I found a little corner, whipped out the game, play, played a little bit, and, uh, okay, moving on. The total lives of prizes, here are the, you know, I'm not sure if I, up I did not update this slide. Oh, man, okay, well, ignore this, I did not update this slide, I apologize for that, but trust me, you'll find out as soon as you go see the, get, get in there and do the event. And I did update this slide, so inside the Trick and Treat Crystal, you have a chance to win either one Mark III Shark Attack, 1500 Combiner Spark, 
a thousand premium shards or 2500 spark it's pretty nice to see that combiner spark in there well if you have a combiner it's, it's a nice way to go ahead and get some without having to worry about getting duplicate bots or spending shanix or buying a bundle or something like that so so yeah there you, it's pr pretty nice so we'll go and see how that works out and of course the premium shards a thousand that's basically a premium crystal but because you got the shards you can choose whether you want to use it for an autobot or a decepticon and also uh i think they did this last year i wonder if they'll be using the same base i remember the last time they had the base had kind of like a arranged kind of like skulls and if i recall they had just a, f a flurry of little mini sharktacons coming out at you but I, I like this little poem they they had there all claws and jaws their fangs ready to clang in the shadows these creeps rattle awaiting you in the next challenge battle <laughs> okay i threw in that little evil laugh there but uh yeah so sounds like the little shark to guys are going to be coming back there um but yeah i guess we'll see it's going to be up there in like where the, you see the news or whatever it's just same place you get all the other challenge battles when the when the bots come out or whatever so you just go up there find where it says challenge battle you tap in there and go have fun and try to try to uh, play it apparently there is a little bit of a storyline go, going along with that so definitely want to go check that out if, if nothing else but for the story okay and uh i did mention the halloween gift uh there is no link in the description at the moment but there will be uh following the stream i did ha uh i just got around to clicking mine uh, right before the uh, the stream so I do have my five trick-or-treat crystals if you've got the newsletter you've got the link in that email uh, but for anybody else who does not have the uh, does not get the newsletter I'll be having it down there for you and uh, I, f I forget how long it's good for but being a Halloween gift I don't expect it to be a, a valid link for much longer than maybe this weekend or maybe in through next week so there you go here's uh big news it's also time to vote for that next five star batch it seems like we just barely got this last one and we're already ready to vote for the next one so do you want to have a say in the which five star bots you see in the na na game next then make sure to cast your vote on your favorite bot the survey will be closed on tuesday november 5th which is this coming tuesday but and uh Extremely powerful bots have not been included in the poll in order to keep a balanced metagame similar to like the last time we voted But there's still 33 bots you can vote for and uh, again This survey link is not in the description at the moment, but it will be after the stream So if you're watching the replay, it should be down there by the time you're watching this Okay, so Here is a list of the bots. I've got it up over here. I did again I didn't I just clicked it like right before I didn't have time to throw it on a slide and clearly I didn't have time to update that other prize slide did I okay so give me a break you know, it's still still coming down from TFCon okay so we'll just we'll just read through who, who we've got air raid and slipstream alpha bravo and long haul blades and dirge blot and rook bumblebee and scrapnel cliff jumper and kickback cosmos and mind wipe the Cybertron Jets, Jetfire and Starscream, Dust Up and Vortex. Interesting thing about those guys, if we get them, that would mean all of the Combaticons would have a five star because Onslaught, Swindle, Blast Off, and Brawl already have five stars. So if you get Vortex in there, you would have, and, and you've got all of them, you could have all five star bots for Bruticus. Doesn't mean they're going to have, a, you'll be able to make a five star Bruticus, but it would s certainly be interesting and. Uh, anyway, moving on. First Aid and Reflector, Goldfire and Ramjet, Hotspot and Tantrum, Hound and Dragstrip, Huffer and Lockdown, Impactor and Impactor. That was my vote, incidentally. Uh, Inferno and Rodimus Unicronus, Ironhide and Bludgeon, Jetfire and Starscream, Jumpstream and Scrapper, Laser Optimus and Armada Megatron. Mirage and Breakdown, Pipes and Headstrong, Power Glide and Cyclonus, Pyromagna and Bone Crusher, Rust Dust and Scavenger, Sandstorm and Octone, Sea Spray and Octopunch, Sideswipe and Offroad, Skydive and Sky Warp, Slug and Rampage, Smokescreen and Breakneck, Storm Clash and Viper, Streetwise and Center Twin. Notable 
uh, bots that are missing are the Sentius Twins, Swoop and Scourge, Star Saber, and Death Saurus. Those guys are not available. There may be a few others. Uh, a Slash and Ripper Snapper are also not on the list. Because, uh, like they said, the uh, particularly powerful bots will not be available for 5-star because they're already super powerful. I mean, Star Saber is practically a 5-star already. Same with the Sentius Magnus and those guys. So, uh, there's the full list. And, um, there you go. So, uh, so if, uh, if, if you haven't voted, get over there and vote before November 5th. If you did, uh, did I say spoop? Swoop, you know what I mean. Come on, man. Uh, oh yeah, Tiger Hawk and Waspinator are are also missing. So yes, good call, Sharksy. Yeah, I I, I I didn't have time to go through and see who all was missing, but uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for that. Uh, let's see. I think that's all there is to say about that. Um, I kind of left this slide up here. It doesn't really make sense following that, but uh, just a reminder that I do have a Discord server that I know a few of you guys are in there, so you can head over there. And uh, I, I do give away from time to time for some Engineer Hoist Secret Stash where you can win Sharkticon Booster, Spark, or Premium Shards. So if you want to be a part of that or just to hang out and chat about Transformers, Earth Wars, or whatever, head on over there. There's a link in the chat. There's a link in the description, and uh, we'll see you over there. Red alert, good to see you, buddy. Hey, you know, dinner is important. Dinner is important, uh, let's say. And last bit of news is that there is no news tomorrow. No stream this week on the official Transformers Earth Wars channel on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. But they will be back next week on Thursday, November 14th at 4 p.m. Universal Time. Okay, so I don't know if you guys caught it, but uh, just real quick, this was the official TFCon shirt. Uh, this was not included with any ticket. This was an additional purchase that you had to pre-order or whatever, but I figured, you know, it's my first TFCon there. Let's just go all out or whatever. And I thought it was pretty cool. It's a little B in DC because it was uh, uh, just outside Washington, DC in Reston, Virginia. So you got like the uh, Washington Monument there, Bumblebee, TFCon 2019. Pretty cool. Uh, the shirt is a little short on me, but that's not their fault. I'm just a tall dude. Uh, but otherwise, it fits well. It's it's a nice fabric and, and everything like that. How about we go uh, crack some crystals here real quick? Sharksu says he wants Tantrum because, one, he is good, and two, you get Predaking. Well, you got to get Tantrum first. Uh, <laughs> so just because he's available in the crystal don't mean you'll get him. All right, so crystals, we've got... How about we go ahead and bring in the two-star hound vamp? There he is with those big old tires. Bring it on. Oh, and he just popped up that little cannon. Very nice. Okay, so we've got a few silver power cores here. Thank you, Adrians, for sending that energy for the good luck spirit bomb. So we had reboosters. We've got a volatile mixture. These are all silver power cores. What music tracks we use once the update comes out? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I'll probably flip through them. Uh... I do like the the G1 music. I also did like the original music. I might go back to that for a little while. That's a good point. That was that was something I didn't put a put a slide in there for, but we'll look at that for that after we see this story for uh, related to Hound. Wheeljack. Wow, that's some fresh coat of paint, Hound. Hard to believe that upgraded body of yours is human built. I know, Will Jack. Honestly, when those Cobra tanks unloaded on me, I figured that was it. The big shutdown. But here I am, large as life and twice as ready for duty. I can see that. But duty? To whom? Your alt mode. What what'd you call it again? Vamp. Vehicle attack multi purpose. Right, right. Well you're vamp alt mode. Isn't that kind of trademark and copyright G.I. Joe? I guess so, Ironhide. 
but I'm still an Autobot, first and foremost. I'm still me. I don't know. I'm no stranger to a bit of uh, revamp now and then, but push comes to shove. Where do your loyalties lie now? I get it, Goldfire. You're pulling my cambo. Go on, keep the flak flying. I guess when we need you, we'll have to shout, Yo, Hound! <laughs> like, Yo, Joe. <laughs> and hope he's not off on maneuvers with his new CO. Yes, Duke. No, Duke. Three bags full, Duke. It's okay. Get it all out of your system. I can take it. You're just jealous. Bet some of you would love a G.I. Joe makeover. Hey, throttle back, soldier. We all know your secret desire is to be human, and this is one giant leap in that direction. Yeah, some days it's hard to be an all-American hero. <laughs> uh, yo, hound! <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Okay, so, for the music. Uh, I didn't put a slide in there because I figured I'd show it off. Uh, you can't see it here, but on this screen in the settings where you can turn the music and sound effects off and on, if you notice, the buttons have moved slightly off to the side, and uh, that extra blank space is where they're going to have the buttons where you will be able to choose between the Transformers Earth Wars, the G1, and the G.I. Joe. So um, I believe they said that push is supposed to come on Thursday tomorrow. So for right, for right now... You're stuck with whatever you have right now, which is probably G.I. Joe, but some point tomorrow you should be able to switch to whatever you want, whether you want to go back to the uh, G1 music or even if you want to go all the way back to the original Transformers Earth Wars music. All right, let's get back to the crystal cracking. Gold power core chip. Oh, what is this? That's the uh, EMP shock for the shock tower. Cool. I think this is my first gold uh, power core for the shock tower. And let's do these trick or treat crystals. Or, I'm sorry, trick and treat crystals. So 1500 combiner spark. Very nice. Another 1500 combiner spark. 1000 premium shards. 2500 regular spark. And another 1500 Combiner Spark. Not bad at all. I'll go in here and I will get that other Premium Crystal. By the way, we're going to be opening a 4-star Crystal here too because I don't have it yet, but I got two 3-star Crystals over there which are guaranteed dupes. So we'll be getting a 4-star Crystal here tonight also. So let's open these Premium Crystals here. We've got a Pyre Magna. We got first aid. I don't know about you guys, but I think first aid's pretty darn likely to be in this next five star batch because we didn't have a healer in the last one, and it and they seem to have been doing the healers every other one. So I'm thinking first aid's probably going to be in this next one. There's power glide. Last premium crystal gives us Rodimus Prime, a three star Rodimus Prime. So that right there gives us our four star crystal. But we'll go ahead and go through these uh, couple of three stars here. Nice one, Sharksy. We're in for a treat, or maybe a trick, with a duplicate four-star. And there's a duplicate cup. Let's head on over here, get get this one last crystal. And three, two, one. It's a treat! Who is this? Streetwise would be great. Streetwise would be great. Oh my goodness, guys! The search for Streetwise is over! The search for Streetwise is over. You saw it right here, guys. Four-star Defensor is going to be in the house just about as fast as I can get over there and spend however much Energon it needs. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and snap a picture of that one. Oh, so pretty. So nice. Look at that right there, guys. Four-star Defensor completed. Wow, I was not expecting that. You go to lab? Absolutely, we're going to go to that lab. We don't want Volcanicus right now. And see, and I just got him to level 10. Uh, 3 million to rank up. I don't have it right now, but I do have it in my inventory. And I am going to go spend it out of my inventory. 
we're going to go and boom there's the three million we're going to go back over to the lab and they give us volcanicus again boom there in two days we will have four star defensor yeah boy <laughs> i don't know where that came from <laughs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow. Nice little Halloween gift. That was the uh, final piece of my TFCon haul, I guess you could say. <laughs> Although this did happen after TFCon. Uh, but the crystals that we got were largely in there. Uh, whatever. It's, it's, it's four-star defense is going to be happening. All right. So that's it for the crystals. That was pretty exciting. It's, it's been a while since we get that. That's kind of one of the nice things uh, about... Uh, getting duplicates all the time is when you don't get is when you do, actually don't get a uh, duplicate in the <laughs> oh i can't talk when the space bridge actually lights up you get extra excited uh so yes man that that's uh that's whew. excellent all right All right, let me get catch a, catch a breath. Two hounds walking around. I know you guys can't see it right now. I I, I didn't see. I don't see two hounds. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh, one one was the original hound. The other was a vamp hound. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw it up there for you. So, so if you get so you got this hound here who is uh, merging with Tiger Hawk, uh, that's your regular that's your regular standard issue Combiner Wars hound, and then over here somewhere wherever he went off to. He's got camouflage on. I can't see him. I guess he went out on recon. There he is. So, so that's your hound vamp and then you got your regular old hound up there so so yeah you will see a couple of uh you will see a couple of hounds walking around if you do have both hounds why don't i chat on global honestly i just I, I, i've got other stuff to do to, to be honest with you I, i've gotten on there once or twice uh but uh just haven't got on there very much uh, so yeah, Shark Sharksy's getting right to it. TFCon Hall, TFCon Hall. Okay, guys. Well, first of all, I got a few slides I want to go over before we get to the hall, uh, because I'm not going to show off the whole thing, you know, on camera. But I do have a couple of slides of the pictures I took. So let's get back over here. Okay. So first off, I want to talk about the people there. First of all, I did meet a few of you guys out there and i uh, wrote the names down but i can't brandon chad patrick ryan and Vinny. i think so uh, a, a few different times or whatever so uh, a couple of, a couple of you guys uh or a couple of those guys actually it was like you look familiar where do i know you from uh you look familiar i know i've seen you before so i so i asked the, so i was like yeah, do you play Earth Wars? Yeah. Did you ever watch Engineer Hoist on YouTube? Yeah. I'm the guy. So, but there, there were a couple, couple of you guys, and, and uh, it was just came, came straight up. Boom. Hey, Engineer Hoist, good to see you. And nice little chat. It was very nice. I could have gone the entire TFCon not being recognized one iota, and I would have still had a fantastic time. But you guys actually coming up to me uh really kind of made my day there and uh on the other side when i was on the other side uh meeting some people that i know uh, uh on you know it was uh it was actually pretty cool uh, so apoc good to see you man um so for, first up let's go ahead and hit the oh <laughs> i forgot to put this in here first up I was decked out even down to my feet. I got some uh, RAD Optimus Prime socks on here. I, I had uh, some Autobot socks and uh, Decepticon socks too. Uh, first up, Patriot Prime. I was on a sit rep with him a little bit, so we kind of struck up a little bit of a friendship from there. And um, 
Friday night after I got out of my custom class, I go and I'm, I'm walking up to the table because I had a question. And before I even get to the table, I, all of a sudden I hear, Engineer Hoist! And I look up and there's this guy standing right out there. He, he saw me first. And uh, so we, we obviously snapped a picture right away. And uh, we actually hung out quite a bit this past weekend. He's a great guy. Definitely go see, go watch his stuff. He, he reviews modern figures like the Siege stuff. Toy Hacks, he's a, one of the probably the most prolific toy hacks you know that's the labels uh reviewers plus he also reviews a lot of g1 stuff he actually got this like mint g1 power master optimus prime with the extra bit i want to say it's like god bomber or something uh some dude was just in a room i he and i were going off to uh you know some other place and walking down the hallway and some hey you guys looking for sales we really weren't but we figured hey what the heck let's go see what we can get guy got got he got it for there is no box but it was still in the package he got it for like 60 bucks which is a fantastic price or whatever and i think i egged him into getting the uh mastermind creations carn effects or overlord anyway uh, it was a great time to be had, uh, um, and we'll, we'll, I'll talk a little bit more about TFCon uh, in another video because uh, I haven't quite got everything together, though. So should have streamed it. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure exactly. I wanted to go there first and see what was going on and see what to do. Um, maybe next year. Uh, I will tell you, it's it's pretty noisy in the dealer room. And uh, I was watching somebody else's video who was kind of doing the walking around, and I actually got sick to my stomach, probably motion sickness or whatever. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do next time. Uh, we'll be. Uh, I, I'm going to think of a, a, a strategy for that for sure. Okay, next up, uh, th this guy. Uh, this is Paul from Robots with Coffee. I don't know if you guys uh, are aware, uh, familiar with Robots with Coffee. They're on Twitter. They're on Instagram. They're on uh, Facebook. We, we actually kind of met on Facebook because they're a fan of my page on Facebook. Uh, I'm a fan of their stuff or whatever. And they were actually over in Artist Alley. He, um, Paul here actually does uh, some, some original drawings. They're kind of simple, but they're always funny. It's just all, all kinds of stuff. Definitely check, go check out the Robots with Coffee. And I also want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Robots with Coffee Jesse, who is uh, actually taking the picture. I should have got a picture with him too. Uh, but uh, I love you guys, and I was very happy to uh, happy to finally uh, meet you face to face. Um, so, and this was one of my assignments in addition to Patreon Prime. This is Deluxe uh, uh, Deluxe Baldwin over on YouTube. Uh, he, he's been pretty prolific as well. He's got his TFCon wrap-up video already. He, do, he does reviews uh, a lot. Uh, he talks about uh, what's new in Transformers, uh, giving you the various news uh, that, he, that he finds on the various parts of the interwebs. Uh, really cool guy. Uh, he, he does floor time, where when he gets a new toy, he actually gets down on the floor and actually plays it a little bit, which I haven't seen anybody else do. It's always a good time, so uh, definitely go check out Deluxe Baldwin as well. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know that's crazy, Red Alert, uh, T-Man, you know, I remember, I, I remember seeing him there, I was actually in front of that case when he came up to video, I actually moved out of the way for him, I was like, oh, that's T-Man, uh, but I never did manage to get a chance to talk to him, there were so many people I did see and wanted to talk to that I didn't get a chance to just because we didn't get cross paths, in fact, even with Deluxe here, we only chatted for about a couple minutes because he was heading one way, I was heading another, um, but uh, yeah, I actually was in front of that cabinet that uh, T-Man was videoing and got out of his way. And I uh, uh, had no idea that he actually came around and saw, saw the three of us, me and Deluxe and Patriot Prime, sitting there chatting. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I actually didn't see... I, I must have missed me in uh, Deluxe Baldwin's uh, video. It's kind of crazy as big as I am. So Okay, uh, next assignment, Bobby Skullface. This dude was so cool. He had a booth over there. Uh, he was selling a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, for, first bit of haul, I'm going to tell you, I got this mug from Bobby Skullface. Uh, I believe this is his art uh, on this mug. There's a Megatron, 
and Optimus Prime. And then, of course, you got the famous Bobby Skullface thing with the truth. And I think that is so perfect because that's one of the things I appreciate about about his videos and i even i even told him that uh, about how he's honest if a figure is is bad he's going to say it's bad uh, you know a lot of people are apologists and myself included i tend to gloss over some of the negative stuff and focus on the positive bobby skullface is a breath of fresh air plus also check out his sit down saturdays uh, uh really great where he talks about various different uh hot button topics in the fandom so 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 yeah it was really cool and uh, no he doesn't wear the mask all the time that's just kind of his thing certainly for the pictures he was going to do that and i don't have any pictures of him without it because you know this is the skull face everybody knows or whatever but uh yeah he is de definitely a, a really cool guy and if you ever at a tf con or anything else where he's at go up and say hi and talk to him he's uh, uh very very cool very gracious okay so now we'll get to the hall uh you already saw the first bit of the haul. Uh, in, that, in fact, that's not in the pictures, but uh, that's that was the mug. Okay, so first up, this was day one. Uh, I've got the uh, custom class figure. I actually have it sitting right here. So, so we'll go ahead and uh, jump back around. So this was actually a Voodoo Robots Salus, and he started off white. You can actually still see a little bit of the white parts, like kind of down on the ankle. And... Uh, in red but uh so so he was like fully painted and um so the, then then there you got the uh, the g2 Gr vulcan you got uh, I, I actually get they had a bunch of these uh ratchets available so uh for like 50 bucks i'm like sure let's do that maybe we'll because uh, i saw somebody else do do up in a different color it's like all blue and something like that and uh I thought it was really cool. Um, is he sick? No, he's actually based on... They, they actually chose the color scheme. There is a... There was a... Um, I want to say E-Hobby or something, but there was like an exclusive recolor of the G1 Ratchet in this these colors, including like blue light bars, uh, which is really cool. It's kind of like a, a clear blue paint, uh, but you paint this silver and you put this little clear blue paint over and it almost has like a translucent look. Um, I actually found they actually had a version of that figure there. I didn't get it, um, but it was ba recolored basically for like the uh, the Bayformers Ratchet because you know that he was basically this color in those movies. So so they did a, f a figure of Ratchet in that color. So this is you know, and, and they actually have a whole bio uh, to, to go along with it. They call calling him Combat Medic, and if you saw the if we saw the pictures before, he looked really yellow. And they even said when he got there, it's like, yeah, ignore that. That that, that color didn't work out very well. But there's there's the whole bio here, and uh, I may cover that in a little bit, uh, like in another video. Chris, what's going on, brother? Non toxic gamers showing up tonight. Uh, good good to see you guys. Um, let, let's go. Okay, so. Then, of course, we got the uh, Mastermind Creations Ultio, which is a Senator Ratbat, and Bedrock, which was Bulkhead. And there were two Sphinx figures. Not just one, there were two. The, there was a surprise exclusive that nobody knew about until you walked in there, or at least until the first guy came out and started yelling, They've got a gold mirage! They've got a gold mirage! <laughs> it was so funny it was great the dude was running up and down the lot the line where everybody else was waiting <laughs> and uh uh but it's not solid gold but there is definitely some gold okay so first let, let's get back to the camera first up we want to talk about watermelon mirage here first of all I, I do like that name and we will continue to use it but i don't know if you can see it but um it's uh, based Miami Sphinx is what they say. So it's actually based on like uh, Miami colors, uh, which makes a lot more sense. Plus, he's also got like an alligator on the side. And I also want to read. They've got a warning up here. So let, let me go ahead and read the warning here. So warning ages 16 and up contains small parts of nostalgia and awesomeness, which may present difficulty for most adults to resist opening and playing with this toy. Yeah. So, so his official name is Sphinx Regenesis. He's Miami Sphinx. And we'll go ahead and get him out of here. Because like it says, most adults will resist opening and playing with the toy. One thing I do like about this package is it is it, it does just pop open and you can close it back up. You didn't have don't have to break the seal like they've done. Uh, or some, some people have done in the past for this similar type of thing. 
So there he is in all of his beautiful pink and green glory. Look at that. It's a weird looking alligator because it's kind of curved and all that stuff, but I'm, that is supposed to be an alligator. He's got all sorts of bits on the top and things like that. He's got like a hot pink clear, clear uh, half of a driver here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, nice rubber wheels and everything like that. And uh, I have not actually transformed this guy. This is, uh, oh man, so beautiful. I love the heck out of this. Uh, he, he was actually the last exclusive available. All of the others sold out except for him because a lot of people aren't a big fan of these colors. And I get it. I get it, but for me, I love it. I love these colors, and he was one of the first ones I I picked up. Not just because he was closest to the door. Um, the other Mirage I've got right here, it comes in packaged kind of like a sarcophagus. You, you've got and you've got like a little window that you can see in there. So you just kind of lift the sarcophagus. It's very much tying into the Halloween thing. So there, there he is. I know he's still got the bubble, but there's two other alternate heads. And so this is very, very cool. Let me get him out of here. Look at this guy. He's all black with like gold trim. He's got a little bit of teal on the side. Very shiny, very sharp looking bot. He's, he comes with the uh, just the standard sphinx head, but he does also have kind of like a grinning head, and he also has a toy accurate head. Uh, so very very cool. Um, oh, this is this is uh, amazing. So yeah, so th this is basically it's the it's the same figure just in two different decos, and. Uh, this is this is just the the other versions. So it's basically the same figure, just different paint jobs. Very cool. He he, he is very cool. So I'm I'm getting him nicely uh, placed back in his package because this guy. Mm. And there's some kind of hieroglyphics on there too. It, it almost looks like it would be translatable. Uh, I took a quick stab at it, but I wasn't getting anywhere, so I gave up. I'm sure somebody out there will do it. Uh, okay. Let's get let's let's keep going. Okay, so that was day one. Day two was where it got a little crazy. First up, I stopped by Artist Alley, and uh, there there was a lot of stuff. You know, some of them were the famous artists. Some of them were. Uh, uh, it's just some fans who actually make stuff, and we st stopped by this one table, uh, Lee Bobowitz, and that, that's actually the Twitter handle. You can check out check that out. And she was she was really cool, really nice. But she made these pins, and I saw this uh, Rodimus star pin. I was like, I gotta get one of those, and uh, it, it was absolutely, um, it was absolutely perfect. Uh, it's nice shiny gold. Doesn't really come across well in the picture here, or whatever. Uh, so, so I got that, and they, she was selling them like t uh, $12 a piece or three, three for 30 so I got two sets of three. Uh, might be hard to tell, but there's a, a little bit, little rung. There's a little Lost Light Crew pin there. Tailgate says, don't panic. Uh, there's a DJD pin in the top center, and it says, we achieved something, kind of like near the end of the Lost Light. If you're familiar with that comic, they did that. Plus, then I went to another table and found a Rodimus shield, so which which is like perfect because that was in the Spotlight Hoist uh, comic. Or wait, or was it? No, Trail Cutter, Spotlight Trail Breaker, I think. Where he went, he finally got a. He, but 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 he, the Trail Breaker went. And he saved the day after everybody got frozen. He got. He finally got. The Rodimus star, even after he did all this other stuff, he never got it, but he finally got it. He was bragging to Hoist. Hoist comes in and says, BAM! Shows off this Rodimus shield. So I had, when I saw that, I'm like, give it to me. Give it to me. I gotta get that Rodimus shield. Uh, so I can't really remember the name. I think, I want to say Lakeen Art. Um, 
I'll try to remember to put some links in the description. Uh, plus, then when I was talking with the robots with coffee guys, they had that uh, Sphinx Mirage, the uh, the or the Pharaoh Sphinx, the the uh, the black one, holding a little coffee cup, and I was like, oh, I, lo I love that. He's like, oh yeah, they're selling them just like two two booths down. So I went down there, and uh, I found uh, where where they had them. So that's that's what's over there on the uh, right side of the screen. It's a little it's a little it says Starbots Coffee. Plus there's a little wine bottle. It says Visages. Again, from more than meets the eye, and uh, kind of hard to see, but there's like a little can of Kremzik soda. It's so cool, so cool. Uh, you want the Decepticon pin? I'm pretty sure she's on Etsy, or like I said, if you go look up uh, Lee Bobowitz on Twitter, I'm sure she's got links to her store where you should be able to buy one. Uh, like I said, she was selling them for twelve dollars there. I would expect it to be a, a similar thing there too. Uh, welcome, Patrick Star. Good to see you, man. We're just going through the TFCon hall here. Okay, so here's the bots that I got uh, on day two. I got I, I went little legends crazy because I I I, uh, I got I got this little magic magic square hoist uh, not too long ago because it was hoist and I was like you know this is a really good figure I should probably get more of these. <laughs> I did. I got a lot, but not just magic square. I, I got uh, I, I got some of the new age stuff too because and, and the reason I got that uh, this this dude in the customs class he had that new age ratchet and it was amazing he was tiny little ratchet and he was basically looked just like the masterpiece articulation and everything it was pretty amazing so I went through I got uh, let's see there's grapple and inferno i got the new age bumblebee as a flipper I, I remember people were raving about that for a while ago but i kind of slept on it um got ultra magnus i got that optimus prime with the trailer and let me tell you about that that was the last one at that i saw at the convention when I, when I first went by the booth there were a couple of them there when i went back there was one so i was like you know i'm going to pick this up and hold it because I'm pretty sure I want this. And uh, as I was still standing there making the decision, some other guy came up. Oh, oh man, there are not, aren't there any more? So I felt a little bit bad, but I wasn't giving it up, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, but yeah, so there's a New Age Ironhide and Ratchet and a New Age Jazz and that Megatron. It's, it's kind of like a shiny silver Megatron, or I want to, what do you call it, Agamemnon or something from New Age? amazing absolutely amazing if you want to get into i love iron factory but man if you want like g1 realistic stuff magic square new age you really can't go wrong with a lot of them plus also i saw there was the uh, masterpiece movie jazz there i already had that pre-ordered but but it wasn't in at tf source or whatever and it's like well it's right here so i canceled it on tf source and picked it up so i was getting that anyway but so i just got it early because it happened to be there and uh, they actually, Master of My Creations actually had a table there with a whole lot of stuff. And um, we're not going to cover it in this video. We'll cover it in my other uh, TFCon wrap-up where uh, the Master of My Creations table or whatever. But they had their Bruticus there. Uh, it's kind of a masterpiece scale or whatever. And um, oh, I tell you, if you want to save money, don't go to a convention and see these things in person because whatever. When, if you talk to yourself out of something, when you see it in person, it will completely change your mind and make you want to get it. Okay, so uh, so so that's what's there at the bottom right. That is the first of the Bruticus figures. That is their impetus or vortex. The cool, the interesting thing about that is almost all of the combiners uh, ever. Uh, they have got parts. You know, the hand is like a separate hand. Even Combiner Wars, the hands are a separate thing, or and the head is a separate thing, or whatever. The the what Mastermind Creations is doing, it's or it's actually their Ocular Max line, is they're calling it built in. So basically, all of the Combiner parts for each of the fit that are needed are all built in within the figure. So like it, like within his legs are are the hand parts and stuff like that. It's actually really cool. And actually, if I recall. The War for Cyber, or yeah, the War for Cybertron Bruticus, I think, did that where they had like the uh, the hands were kind of part of the figure or whatever. So, uh, can Jazz uh, come apart? I haven't I haven't taken him out of the box yet, but if I remember, he is supposed to be able to split apart so Megatron can hold him. Yeah. So, oh, you guys thought I was done? That was just day two. Day three. This was Sunday. 
<laughs> all of the uh, all all of the uh, other Magic Square New Age figures that I uh, passed on on Saturday, I went back and got on Sunday. <laughs> So I got the dots and bros, including Prowl, Blue Streak. I actually got the Silver Streak. I was like, you know, let's do something different than all, all of my other lines. I got the totally silver version. Uh, I got Smokescreen. They even had a barricade uh, made out of the same thing. It's like perfect. And I actually didn't even know about that, but I saw on the Robots with Co Robots with Coffee, uh, they, they make it the little toy comics, and they said, where did they get that tiny little barricade? And so, yeah, so there there's that. Uh, got a little Cosmos. He's clear. He comes with like a little stand, like he's trying, like he's abducting somebody. So that's really cool. Uh, a set of Insecticons there. Sideswipe, and there's your red alert. And uh, the Cyclonus Blaster with the tiniest, the tiniest little ram horn fits in his chest. I swear, I've never seen anything so tiny. Uh, let's, let's see. I've got I've got this little spudger here, and I. It, maybe just the bit from you know from the end of my thumb maybe about like that just the tiniest little the tiniest little ram horn and they, they had a blue blaster that came with steel jaw but it's really just the same thing just no horn so um got trail breaker and a two pack of sea spray and beachcomber and you see siege impactor there that's the retail one and the story with that is uh, one of the panels was the podcast roundtable. It was the last panel of the show, and you know they basically had already done the the wrap up. They announced the TFCon coming to Orlando in March, which is perfect because it's like 45 minutes away from me. It's in Red Alert's backyard, so we're gonna go have a great time in March. So get ready for all of this again in just a few short months. Um, but uh, this impactor, the, they, they did a, like a little raffle, and I, so I happened to be in there and you know got got the ticket, and you know they had a whole bunch of different things. But when this impactor was the prize, they called my number, and I was like, oh, perfect, because I was done shopping and getting stuff, but uh, I hadn't found that impactor. I got the retail uh, or the uh, fan vote one back behind me, but I had not gotten that retail one yet because I hadn't found it. So it was actually perfect because there it was. I won it. It was it was amazing. So yeah, big shout out to uh, the people up there doing the podcast. Uh, I want to say it was Steel City Bots, Icon Underground, and Radio Free Cybertron or whatever uh, were the ones up there. They actually called up... Um, one of the guys from the Autobot Autopod Decepticast, uh, which I hadn't heard about before, uh, but they did a panel like the Friday night, the G1 Movie Madness, and it was hilarious. It was fantastic. It was a small taste of their podcast, which I hadn't seen. I loved it so much. I subscribed to their podcast and I listened to it the entire way home. Uh, so definitely check out the Autopod Decepticast. Uh, because what they and start at the beginning because it, it okay well first of all just a little disclaimer they're not for the young ears they're they're they they it's not terrible the whole way but they're not shy about dropping some uh, curse words or uh, some innuendos and stuff like that so kids wait on that but anybody else who's kind of more adult and want to because what they do is they go through the 1986 movie and they finished and they moved on to some other stuff but i'm working through minute by minute so each podcast is one minute where they go talk about what's happening little trivia bits and uh talk about the voice actors and stuff like that it's actually very very cool um big bronze rim yes i actually did meet bobby skullface got a picture of him um he's back there in the uh uh back there in the slides a little bit um i did not I'm not familiar with who's in Shattered Cast. Uh, if they were there, I wouldn't know. But uh, they didn't do any panels or you know say, "Hey, we're a Shattered Cast" or anything like that. So, um, not that any of these other guys did did anything like that either. Uh, they just happened to be at the panel. So, um, 
but yeah, so so very so very very cool, and that I believe concludes my haul. And yeah, so we're back around. So okay, so you want to see? I'll, I'll get back to it. So yeah, there's 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 me with Bobby Skullface. Uh, there you go. All right. And that was just a taste of the TFCon <laughs> experience. Uh, I, I've definitely got so, some of the other stuff. Yeah, I, I got a little bit. I got a little bit of it too. I got I got a mug uh, from from it. The, the art he had over there. He had uh, prints, posters, uh, mouse pads, mugs. It, it was it was kind of funny uh, because I saw this as like I gotta get this mug, and there was a guy next to me. Uh, he wanted this mug too, and turns out they were the last two of this type of mug that he had. So, uh, so me and the guy before me, we took we took these the last two of these. These were the ones on display. Uh, so we got them. So yeah, very very cool. I do definitely appreciate that. Got Megatron on one side, Optimus on the other, and Bobby himself saying truth straight straight in the middle. Uh, good times. Oh man. And then, to top it all off, I go I go in to work today for the first time in like almost a week, which it's never fun going back to work after you've had a vacation. But anyway, work's, work's done. I'm heading home. You know, everybody's talking about, oh, I'm finding rat seeds ratchet over here at this Walgreens. I'm finding it here. I'm finding it here. I'm finding it, you know. And I'm like, I've never found any of them at my Walgreens ever i haven't found any of them i did find brainstorm at some other walgreens but uh, never found any at, at the one near me uh but but as i was driving home it's on my way home i was like you know what let's stop in there i justified it to myself because i was out of pain relievers and said you know i need to go ahead and get a new bottle of pain relievers anyway because you know i couldn't just go there for a toy right <laughs> so <laughs> yeah yeah so it, so anyway I, I got that but of course before i did that i swung by the aisle and indeed they had siege ratchet so finally i scored at my store and got got the siege ratchet so there we go and i'm gonna have a good time with him they actually had two of them so i got both of them because i because in my mind, whether it happens or not, I was thinking I might actually take it, try it, try uh, turning one of the siege ratchets into this guy, because I did I did bring home a little bit of the paint because I've got some touch ups to do. Because I don't know if you can see, um, didn't uh, quite get all the paint on his hand there, and there we were under time constraints. We had like seven hours, and let me and let me tell you, oh hey Larkin, what's going on, brother? Um, let me just t tell you something. Uh, customizing a masterpiece figure takes more than seven hours but that was all we had so I, I i just i i did as much as i could and it got to the point where i definitely wanted to do more because i don't know if the light will show you but you can still kind of see the red cross things on his arm so he definitely needed a few more coats there uh i'm definitely seeing some spots where i missed or whatever but i i got did it good enough to to make it look like that uh, and, and took him apart, put slapped the paint on, put it back together, and so there he is, uh, looking pretty nice. Definitely got some more work to do uh, on him to really make make it like you know perfect and outstanding. Although that wasn't really what I was going for. I was just going for the experience, and and, uh, and you know, and, and it was fun. It, it was a lot of fun. I would definitely do that again. Um, but I figured I'd get that other ratchet, this other siege ratchet. Maybe I'd. Uh, Turn turn him into that too. Not John Distron. He's he's based. He's supposed to be like the movie Ratchet color. They actually came with stickers. I didn't put the stickers on because I wanted to go and touch him up some more. But it came with like additional like the you know the life sign, or the heartbeat symbol with the Autobot, uh, something like that. So to to basically evoke the uh, the movie Deco uh, in a uh, G1 style body. So turn him into the constructicon colors that yeah, that's pretty cool see see and that's the cool that's the thing about customizing if you get into it you can put any paint paint job you want on it. i saw some people actually turn him in, into like a thunder clash uh because he, he was like blue uh, a bunch of places uh what left the chest white he was kind of blue on the arms uh maybe not a full thunder clash because i don't know if they did the red but there was somewhere they just they did the blue and left the red as red or whatever so you weren't if you take the class you're not limited to doing what you're told 
you could uh, you could customize it however you want. Now they did only give you certain uh, types of paint. They gave you the paint for they gave you the green paint. They gave you this kind of a blue paint. They gave you some silver paint and kind of a clear blue paint, which is a little bit brighter. Uh, so unless you brought your own paint, you were limited to just these kind of colors plus the color that the figure was initially. Uh, but you're not limited to doing this. Even one of the guys at my table chose to make the, make these parts silver instead of the blue or whatever, which uh, it, it it looked pretty sharp. Uh, I kind of I kind of like this this deco with the uh, the blue and the green. So yeah, you got you guys all calling him sick, like he's got jaundice and stuff like that. Call first aid, ratchet sick. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Uh, you always make me laugh. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's about it's about that time. Man, we covered a lot of stuff. Um, it, before we get out of here, we got it. Got any got any more questions? Uh, before we get out of here, I, like I said, we'll, we'll, I'll cover more about all of this stuff. Like I'll, I'll I'll get all the exclusives out of their package so we can see the uh, see the. Um, you know, like the G2 Vulcan and the Rat Bat and the Bulkhead and stuff like that. So, love how you can see, barely see Omega's head. Yeah, back there, he's just so tall. Um, do we have to fully disassemble him? Not fully. We did take apart most of it. So, some we didn't take apart the pin joints. Although, if you were going to do something like that and want to do like a perfect, spectacular job. Uh, that would probably be the best thing to do if you knew how to do it. But we, but basically, wherever there was a screw, we took apart the screw, and we did have to um, be careful because uh, what they what they said to do is you, you take the screw out and then put the screw back in just a little bit right where it was, and that that's actually good. That was a good thing. First of all, it gave me a, a place to hold. Uh, when I was painting and stuff like that and and it would have been nicer if we had like the little alligator clips and things to stick them in and stuff like that like I said it wasn't a perfect customizing experience but it was it was a good first taste um, but uh, what was I gonna say I did lose one screw Fortunately, they had extras. They knew that was going to happen. So some people broke it, broke parts because, like, like the backpack here, most of it's translucent, and uh, when it's kind of just flopping around uh, loose or whatever, uh, it's easy. Especially like right up here, this joint here, it was a little tough. If you didn't quite get it right, uh, you could break a part. So there were some people who broke some parts. Uh, people lost screws right here, uh, but they did have extra parts or whatever. So, uh, but but yeah, it was it was a good time. Um, yeah. Uh, any interest in the new Fort Max that he talked about? Now, that was interesting about that uh, third-party panel. I was there. I was. I was. I was one of the things that I definitely wanted to go see. And you, you know, for most of that, most of that panel, they, they do have the slides posted up on the TFCon YouTube channel. If you want to go watch that, it's in two different parts. Most of that was stuff we've already seen before, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, one of the things that was interesting is they have this kind of a bot bot leader it's a it's a deluxe class bot turns into a stake and uh <laughs> it's just the absurdity of it is amazing uh so they did um yes the grand galvatron hit it they actually uh showed half the battle toys uh is putting is working on a sound wave hiss tank and you know they've been working on it a lot longer than it was in earth wars i just thought it was kind of interesting that they uh that here we are battling in a leaderboard to get a sound wave hiss tank in earth wars and we see that up there i want to say it was announced before because it seems familiar to me but it's kind of funny that it is there and then like I said, a lot of stuff there. I, I don't know if it's been announced before, but I don't recall seeing that Astro Train from Fans Toys. And I'm a big fan of Astro Train. Partially because I still have my G1 toy of him. But I love that Fans Toys Astro Train that they put out. I forget I forget what it was. Um, and then, yeah, of course, the big reveal at the end was that Fans Toys Fort Max. And it, it was very quiet in there the whole time. They, and when they go say, okay, and here we go. He didn't even say anything. He just put it up there. Fans, Toys, Fort Max. Cheers. Rah! Everybody liked 
seeing that Fort Max. And that that is just chat, 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 talk, talk, talk. And then, then they should go up and show their here's Fort Max and here's their little uh, fans toys hoodlum, which is basically masterpiece hot rod. So, which is kind of a Voyager class figure. This thing is, is going to be, I don't remember what the, the final height is. I want to, I want to say I heard something like three and a half feet tall. I'm seeing some reports being almost four feet tall, but he is a big boy. He's going to tower over everybody. And, uh, uh am I going to get him? No, no, I'm not too big. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are really loving the masterpiece scale, even the big guys, the big masterpiece scale, and it's just a little bit too big for me. Uh, uh, even the, even there at the show, I saw some like the the Giga Power di Dinobots there, you know, the huge Dinobots in some of the displays, and I was just like, man, those do look pretty, but they're just too big for me. I'm I've, I've, I'm out of space as it is. I don't have place for for a transformer the size of a Honda. You know, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't see myself getting the fans toys Fort Max, but uh, if he gets made and, and, and people want to get him, then I'm happy for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be I'm pretty sure I'll be passing for him. Oh, if Astro Train's name, name is Thomas. Yes, that's perfect. I actually saw somewhere uh, some somebody I, I want to say it was like on TFW 2005. They, they, they put up. That were listing it, and they didn't give a name for that Fort Max, uh, but somebody listed the name as Wallet Breaker, <laughs> and then they put the caption, "Not the real name," but yeah, so uh, Wallet Breaker, the Fans Toys Forty Wallet Breaker. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so I, I've, I've been largely staying away from the Fans Toys stuff, not for any reason other than. I've had other options I've, I've, I've gone down or whatever, but uh, there's, there's been a number of uh, Astro Trains out there, and uh, like like the Shigur uh, wasn't a big fan of that. I have the, which is important to me, um, but uh, man, I, that Fans Toys Astro Train. That, if, if I hadn't got a Fans Toys figure yet, that Astro Train will probably be my first. So, <laughs> rules, rules me, are meant to be broken. Yeah. Dragonborn says headquarter 16 coming up this Monday. Oh, congrats, man. Congrats. That, that, unlo that unlocks a lot of cool stuff for you. Yeah, Fans Toys is arguably the best of the third-party companies. Yeah, that, that's a... Uh, I'm glad you threw the arguably in there. Um, because uh, it, it is. it does kind of depend what you're going for. Uh, Skullface, I'm sure you've seen, uh, talks about this uh, quite a bit. You know, he's obviously a fan of the fans' toys because uh, fans' toys definitely, and, and I will 100% agree with this, they t do tend to make the best-looking bot modes of of the all of the other companies in, in third party or whatever. But um, I've also heard that they tend to be a little tricky to transform in a lot of cases. Um, which is what, which is the sacrifice that you have to pay sometimes for very good looking bot modes and very good looking alt modes or whatever. Like, uh, like I want to say Rouge was one of the things where he said, it's like that, that the transformation that is absolutely am uh, amazingly bad, you know, or whatever. So, um, so there you go. Exactly. You don't care much about the transformation. I know he has said that he doesn't care much about the transformation. He wants to put it in bot mode, sit it on the shelf and pose it nice and stuff like that. And fans toys is, is the, is the best for that. You know, it's, it's funny. Cause I, I say, I like to transform my toys, but yet I generally don't. Uh, but I do like to mess with them a little bit. And when I do transform them, I like to, uh, I, I like to have an enjoyable experience. So I didn't even bother transforming Rouge. Yeah. Uh, I never will. It, you know, it's kind of funny. It's uh, the same thing like with MP36 Megatron. I, I, I still have, I've had the guy for like two years now. I still haven't transformed him just because, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I've seen it. It's a little tricky and I don't know, maybe a little scared. Maybe just, I don't, I don't know, just, uh, I don't know. Just I've never got around to it or whatever. But uh, x bots, yeah, they're definitely good too. Uh, I've got that. Hoist is X Transbots. You know, when I first got, I, I got the X Transbots. I got the Bad Cube. I got the uh, Ocular Max versions of Hoist. At first, I, I liked the Ocular Max one, but 
over time, that X Transbots one has really grown on me. I really like that X Transbots version of Hoist. Um, I'm, I'm in on the X Transbots Stunticons. I've got all four of the cars, and oh man, they had a mock up. It was the G2 one, which is unfortunate because I'm not going for the G2 Menasaur, but the X Transbots Menasaur, they had it there in the thing. It was just kind of mocked up and it was just painted. And I got to tell you, they weren't really trying hard with the paint because uh, they, they were at, they were at least as bad as me. Because if, if you look close at the, uh, you, the video hides a lot of good details. But if you look closely here, the paint's not, not very sharp. Um, it was kind of like what that G2 Menace or mock-up was. But again, it's a mock-up. It's not a final product or whatever. Yeah, when they actually make the toy, it's going to be perfect, I'm sure. Um, but nice big metasaur and it looked really good so I'm, I'm excited for them to come out with that motor master but man it's amazing because that, that motor master is going to have to be huge because the cars just basically stick onto it they don't make up the leg at all you could actually stand up metasaur using nothing but the motor master and he would be functional because all of the other cars basically just you know you take apart the guys on the arms the dead end and the uh, drag strip and put half up here half down here half up here half down here and then the others just on the calves they don't make up any of the structure of the <laughs> of the menace or so it's it's crazy um but yeah so i i almost got some of the uh some of the other x transbots i was looking at that skids i forget what the name is and then the uh tailgate and wind charger was a boost and hatch uh but th that was near the end after I had already spent way too much and I had to pull away. I had to pull away, you know. So um, they also had a Masterpiece Road Rage there for, uh, you know, it's one of the older, like the red tracks uh, for like 40 bucks. I think I want to say it was Agabus. Um, and I almost went and got that, but again, it was the last day. I was like, no, I, I've, I'm done. I'm done. I got, I got to stop. I got to stop. Uh, so... But yeah, so so yeah, a lot of the big stores were there. Uh, plus, they had plenty of other people there. Most of my stuff I got from Chosen Prime. Um, I did get, uh, you know, Toy Dojo did most of the um, exclusive. The Grimlock, the Vulcan came from Chosen Prime. Most of the Legend stuff came from Chosen Prime. I did get the Inferno and Grapple from somebody who I didn't see what was. Uh, I didn't see a name. It might have just been somebody who had a bunch of stuff. Um, so I didn't get a name for that one. I just paid them in cash, so I got no receipt. Um, I did get the the Vortex, the Impetus, and the Masterpiece movie Jazz from Agabus, which you know I, I don't think I had heard of them before, except for related to TFCon. So uh, very nice people everywhere. You know, very want to be very helpful. They're very knowledgeable. Uh, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time chatting with them or whatever. But, um, but yes, Chosen Prime display was absolutely amazing. I actually, I, I gotta tell you, I actually took pictures of their displays because they're fantastic. And I just kind of want to uh, pay attention a little bit to see how, how they're made to see if maybe there's, because they look to be custom made. Now, clearly their logo across the top is custom made, but they've kind of got like light bars going down the corners. They, the bottom is lit and maybe the top is lit. Plus then it's like the, the glass there. Uh, I almost want to see if there's a way that I can maybe reproduce that somehow um, because I, I, I like their display cases that much. So, um, Big D said, decided to collect the Studio Series Devastator from the pictures you're seeing. Starting to regret it now. Um, don't regret it just yet. The, the, um, like with the whole blue on the chest or whatever. That, that was that was a, they, they shouldn't have even shown that off with it in that color because I, I'm giving you a whole a bad a bad vibe or whatever. So I'm sh I'm sure it'll be fine. And you know what? Uh, personally, I kind of like all of the constructor cons even as they are. So even if Devastator does look like trash, you still got a nice set of uh, Studio Series constructor cons. Uh, okay, well High Tower does look pretty trashy too. I mean, it's like what are they thinking? That dude was clearly made only for combined mode, and they slapped a head on him to make a robot, but. <laughs> you know so but yeah I, I i wouldn't write off that studio series devastator just yet 
because uh, because I mean, if you're gonna do that, you would write off the X-Transbots G2 Menasaur as well. But looking at the picture there, because the paint was trash as well, uh, I could have probably done a better job. And I've only painted one figure literally that day, and I was thinking I could do a better job than that. Uh, but uh, but again, just it was a quick it was a quick job or whatever. So uh, give it time. Wait wait till we see some final final stuff and uh it, it we might see some stuff and uh man there's a lot of things i'm thinking coming to my head that i want to talk about but you know what that's time that's for another video that's why i kind of kind of kept it a little bit uh a little bit short here I, I wanted to get it out of my system so we could talk about it because i know you guys were probably wondering about it and uh but man there, there's a whole lot more stuff to to talk about there was a, a lot of figures that we saw there we, we talked about that Metasaur. we there's a whole whole uh mastermind creations display there there's a lot more stuff off in the uh these other cabinets by that Metasaur. um actually astro train probably will not be my first fans toys their warpath probably will because they showed that warpath with the alien mask from the hoist goes to hollywood so if for no other reason i'm getting that warpath because he has that mask because i've, I've got a tracks with that mask i've got a uh, because it came with the hoist you know the x transbots hoist he's got the max mask it came with the mask for masterpiece tracks masterpiece sunstreaker has it and it's like the only other one left uh um no uh Rick, Richtofen, i've got a masterpiece version of power glide it has the mask the only one missing is warpath that fans toys warpath uh, sheridan i think it's called comes with a mask I'm, I'm getting that warpath so that will probably be my first fans toys yeah, which is which is going to be bad because it's another pandora's box that i'm going to be opening and i'm probably going to want to buy a whole lot more fans toys stuff uh because like i was sleeping on all of this magic square and new age stuff I was like, I'm not getting it. I'm in on Iron Factory. I'm sticking with Iron Factory. I'm going to ignore this stuff. I don't want it. Yeah, it, it looks great. It looks great. It looks great. But I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. No, I'm not going to get it. I can't get everything. I got, I'm not going to get it. Then I got the hoist and go to TFCon and I come back with two bags full of Magic Square and New Age stuff. So I'm fan toys is a little bit pricier, so I cannot go that quite that crazy. But yeah, I'm sure that's going to open up that uh, box. Yeah, their brawn does look pretty good too. Uh, I've got the bad cube uh, brawny. I might be able to get away from getting their brawn because that brawny is still pretty darn good from bad cube. Although their outback just doesn't tie together in the chest, so uh, very disappointing. But uh, bad cube, bad cube brawn is uh, pretty good. All right, guys, so uh joker Kidone. oh missed out on the mmc bulkhead oh yeah you, you know actually right after the con they actually put up uh some of the exclusives up on i want to say like steel planet or something like that uh i'm sure it's probably sold out by now anyway um keep your eyes out you, you might if you if you're looking for the exclusives you keep your eyes out they might might be some out there but i, I will say i'm getting ahead of myself this is for the next video but one thing's for sure if you want exclusives get a premium ticket because that gives you f and check in friday night because you get to go into the exclusives room and basically they limit it to where anybody who gets a premium ticket will be able to get any of the exclusives that they want otherwise it's a line a mile long the next day and you got to line up early and those exclusives are gone like that like i said uh, I, I was down there, I, I didn't get there right when it opened, but I got there only a short time after it opened, and by the time I got there, all they had left was this guy. So if you were looking for this guy, you were in luck. If you're looking for anybody else, like that Grimlock, uh, the, like the Vulcan, or or MMC Bulkhead or something like that, uh, you're out of luck. But they had plenty of these guys. So, all right uh yeah so, sorry about the link uh I, I covered that at the beginning of the video but if you're just getting here i i uh i, I didn't didn't get a chance to get that in there uh, right away as soon as i end the stream which is going to be within a few seconds I'll, I'll go grab that link and get it in there so 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 keep an eye out for that as soon as, soon as we hang up i'm going to go get the link and put it in the description and uh and then you should be able to go ahead and get that link plus also there's going to be a link to vote 
for the next five star bot so go ahead and click that link too coming up here in just a few minutes and vote for your five star and um, if, if you haven't already and you're still here uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button be in because we will be talking about TFCon more uh, I, I'm not gonna promise tomorrow but sometime with the next couple of days definitely by this weekend uh, I'll have another TFCon video I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it as a video uh, not a stream, but uh, just because there's, I w it'll be easier to go through some of the stuff, uh, cutting cutting it all together. Plus, I took a few videos; it'll be easier to fit in with in the context of another video instead of a live stream. So, keep 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 an eye out. Uh, I'll be posting up uh, a TFCon video here uh, within the next few days, c covering the whole experience. You guys got a little bit of a taste of it here. Uh, you're gonna get the whole wrap up. Uh, like I said, within a few days. Okay, and with that, uh, it's time to go ahead and sign out. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm Engineer Hoist Keeper, and my friends, and we'll see you next time.